Today's movie title is short but meaningful, The Wedding. This movie is a bitter, which means not so pleasant, satire on modern village or more specifically on people who live there. For Bride's father, a wedding reception, which the plot revolves around, is an excuse to show off his high social standing. But is it really so high? You can probably guess that the more person boasts about something, the less we can believe it. So the viewers have a chance to watch crooked negotiations, embarrassing bargains and deals depending on local connections. There is no big love between the newlyweds. Every downed bottle makes the guests more and more loud and strange, but definitely less conscious. Intoxication reaches its peak when the guests sing Oath, a poem by Maria Konopnicka, which served as a protest song during the Prussian partition. The lyrics is as follows. We won't abandon the land with our kin. We won't let our native tongue be buried. Polish people we are, Polish folk. We are of the royal plast clan. We won't let the enemy Germanize us. So help us God. Speaking of oath, I believe I should introduce you to the poetess. She was a Polish positivist writer of both novels and short stories, a literary critic and a translator. She also wrote stories for children such as Of Dwarfs and Mary the Orphan, Berry Picking and What the Sun Saw. Besides this, the, she wrote novels, which reflected positivistic values. For example, Smoke, Mendel from Gdańsk, and the most important one, Our Hack. As a curiosity, Konopnicka was buried at the Lichakov Cemetery in Lviv, so if you are ever in the city, you can visit her grave too. In Suwałki, when she was born, you can also visit a tourist road called Dwarfs Exists. Krasnoludki są na świecie which features exterior figurines of tw 10 dwarves from the story of dwarves and the married the orphan. But let's discuss the movie. Its title, Gist and Beginning, all refer to the national myth inspired by the wedding written by Stanisław Wyspiański. The drama was played on stage in 1901. It is a deeply symbolic piece, which became one of the most important dramas of the modernist Young Poland movement. The most well-known symbols are Cup Chef Dance, which reflects Polish people malaise and sorrow, and the Golden Horn, which symbolizes a chance to regain independence. Literary Prototype was directed as a movie in 1947 by Andrzej Wajda. I will tell you something about Wojciech Smarzowski, the director of the, of the movie. The recognized director and screenwriter was awarded at the Polish Film Festival in Gdynia and he received Passport Polityki, Polityka's Passport, in the film category in 2004. The latter has been granted since 1993 by a popular Polish sociopolitical magazine Polityka in six major categories. In 2002, a new category, Creature of Culture, was introduced. Smarzowski studied in Łódź and in Krakow, and he directed many movies, which reverberated around critics as well as viewers. The movies had a heavy influence on the Polish culture, cinema and society too. Volynia, based on the witnesses' memories of the massacres in Volynia and Eastern Galicia in 1943 and 44, is definitely the, this kind of movie. But in my opinion, his most important film is Clergy, which I will discuss in the future. If you start watching Smarzowski's movies, you will notice two things. He has his favorite actors, many of them played in almost all of his movies, and he has a distinguished style, which is a bit too controversial and very often shows Poland and Polish people through a distorting mirror. In my opinion, the mirror is sometimes too distorting. Despite this, today I decided to recommend The Wedding to you. I am wondering if you will like the movie and if you will see in it, just like I did, a particular kind of universality. Because in the end, we all are the same, no matter where we live. Enjoy The Wedding and talk to you soon.